Feeling way too hot, high headed, I got a fever. I came from heaven and made it through hell, and now I got either. Should've believed you, damn, you should've believed me. Hey you guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Naughty Love Movement. It's your girl Nikki, bring you the latest and trending topics in our vlog, My Life. Before we get into today's content, guys, remember to hit that like and please consider subscribing and that bell button so that you could be reminded when I update content to my channel. Also, please leave comments and share my content on your different social media platforms and follow us on our different social media platforms. So today, guys, I'm bringing you an update on the Fetty Wap case. As promised, Naughty Crew, I told you I was going to follow this case. And Fetty Wap has pled guilty to conspiring with the Long Island drug gang. All right. So shout out to the New York Times for dropping this article. So Fetty Watt was a part of a Long Island based drug ring, a part of his life that was hidden until last year when the FBI agents arrested him at City Field just before he was to perform there as part of the Rolling Loud Music Festival. So Fetty Wap, whose legal name is Willie Jr. Maxwell II, was arraigned on a charge of conspiring to distribute and possess narcotics. His legal problems worsened this month when his $500,000 bail was revoked after prosecutors said he brandished a gun during a video call and threatened a man. Yes, guys, that is the facts. They caught Fetty on FaceTime threatening someone. So this was a violation of his bail conditions. So on Monday, a prosecutor told a magistrate Judge Stephen Locke, a federal district court in Central Islip, that although the indictment last year charging Mr. Maxwell and five other men cited a array of drugs, guy, we're not even going to get into that. Please check out my previous recording if you want to know the details. So Mr. Maxwell was accused only of conspiring to possess and distribute cocaine. So the prosecutor, Christopher Caffron, told Judge Locke that in roughly the first half of 2020, Mr. Maxwell had conspired in Suffolk County to distribute well in excess of 500 grams of the white girl, you guys, in New Jersey. Okay, so minutes later, Fetty pled guilty to that charge. And he quotes, I agree with other people to distribute the white girl, he told the judge, I knew that my conduct was illegal. So the charge Mr. Maxwell admitted to carries a maximum of prison term of 40 years and a mandatory minimum of five years. Prosecutors said that Mr. Maxwell had weighed his right to an appeal as long as he was sentenced to 10 years in one month or less. So Mr. Maxwell's lawyer, Elizabeth Messadino asked Judge Locke for expedited sentencing, saying her client was being held in the harshest conditions inside of a special housing unit at a federal jail in Brooklyn. So Fetty is locked up, you guys. He is and um, so he faces a minimum of five years. So drop down into my comments. Let me know what you guys think about this sentencing and him having to cop out to a plea. I think he shot himself in the foot at the end of the day. If you see my previous recordings, I've been following Fede. He has been unraveling on my last recording. He has slapped a fan. And I think it's due to all the pressure of this case. He's unraveling. Please remember to hit that like, subscribe, and that bell button. Until next time, Nighty Crew, I'm out. One. Back to Adam's app. Uh, I told him Mac the rap. My dick couldn't even fit half the cap in the Cadillac. Take a dab of wax with a battle last. Not your average cat. Uh.